Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make this footprint system. This was created using a deferred decal material and a normal map I created using Tuscan Designer. So here as you can see when I walk, the footprints are dropping on the ground like this. So if we go to the decal actor, you can actually set the fade time so after a certain time the decal will start fading like real footprints so this is what we are going to create today before I start I want to thank Imposter Trop for supporting me on Patreon it really means a lot to me and if you want to support me on Patreon you can check out the link in the description or in the doobly doo and uh, you could get all the project files I created for this tutorial. So to create the normal map, we need to go to Substance Designer. So go into it. If you don't have Substance Designer, then you can create the shape I am creating here in Photoshop or something and use some online tools to make the normal map. So first thing I am going to do is bring a shape node then change the pattern to bell then I will go to tiling mode then click on this and absolute and change this to no tiling then get a transform node then duplicate that Now get a blend node and change the blend mode to add linear dodge. Then here just going to move this up a bit like that. Move this down then for the top one we will move it up and reduce the size like this and put it somewhere here then reduce the size again so we can to get a um, foot shape So this is fine for this tutorial, you can improve this if you want. Now get a histogram scan and connect this to the output of the blend node. Then increase the position and the contrast like that. So we get something like this. Then we will invert this, so invert grayscale then we will create a normal map from this and connect this to the normal then increase the intensity to 50 like a very high value so it kind of looks like this and then we need to connect this to the base color then you can go here and adjust the shape if you want and the size here you can also create a footprint normal map by yourself if you want so this is just a basic normal map just for this tutorial so after you have created this just as for the base color and the normal map and bring it into the android engine so I have both of them imported here. Now we need to create the decal. So right click material and I will name this foot print underscore decal. Then open it up. Now change the material domain to deferred decal. 
and change the shading model to debuffer translucent normal we just need the opacity and the normal now bring in the normal map and connect that to the normal then hit apply so we need to change the blend mode to translucent and then hit apply so let's see what this looks like so if i bring that into the world it kind of looks like this kind of looks like a big footprint now we will create the anim notify to spawn the decals so every time your foot hit the ground we will spawn the decal so for that go to the anim ray go to the animation blueprint then animations then here i have added an another track so one of this track is for the sound and the other one is for the anime notification so you can add as many tracks as you want by clicking this plus icon so here i just going to delete the notify then you can manipulate the position with this so when the left foot hit the ground we need a notification from here so right click then add notify then new notify i will name this right foot new because i already have an old one uh, this is the left foot so we need to name this left foot new then cycle through this and here the right foot is hitting the ground so change this to add notify new notify right foot new we need to do that also for the running animation so just click here i'm just going to delete both of them then add notify then left foot new since uh, the left foot is hitting the ground here here the right foot is hitting the ground so add notify right foot new then go to the anim blueprint so this one so here i already have this set up i'm just going to create a new one here so before that i will just disconnect both of this then right click and type in left foot new and again right foot new so this will fire when the left foot hits the ground and this will fire from when the right foot hits the ground now we need a line trace to see whether the foot is hitting the ground or not so for that right click and type in line trace by channel then connect this here and right click here and type in try get spawn owner now from here get actor location then connect this to the star location and drag from here and type in plus vector plus lecture then we will give a value of minus 500 for the c so that it will cast a line from the actual location to the ground and connect this to the end so we will duplicate this bring it here and connect this here and connect this to start and connect this to the end now we will spawn the decal actor so before that we need to create the decal actor 
so for that go to the kind of browser blueprint class then actor and foot print underscore decal pp then open it up then we will go to add component then decal and add our decal here so just like that and it is added I will decrease the size to maybe like 24 and that's it now compile and save that's all then go back to the blueprint and we will spawn actor from class so the class is uh, footprint decal bp so footprint decal bp then duplicate this and connect this here then split this and split this now to get this spawn transform location we need to add two sockets to our skeleton so go to skeleton then go to foot l or this bone right here this one then add a socket called footprint underscore l just right click on the bone and add socket then you can add the socket here then go to the right foot and do the same thing so add a footprint dot r so right click and add socket footprint underscore r then go back to the blueprint then we will do get component get owning component then we will do get socket socket location so the socket location for this is the right foot so because this is the right foot so the name of the socket is this one footprint underscore r so copy that and paste that here and connect this here and just duplicate this connect this here and connect this here so this one will be the footprint underscore l now to get the rotation for this we need to get the forward and up vector of our player spawn so right click so drag from here and type in get forward vector then again drag from here and type in get up vector then we will make rot make rot from c and x or x and c and connect the forward vector to x and connect the up vector to c and connect this to the spawn transform and do the same here so now compile and play so our decal is spawning but there is some rotation issue so let's fix that so go to the decal actor then we will rotate this 90 degrees in the y axis so it will be like this now let's see okay we need to rotate this minus 90 degree in the y axis so now it will look like this now what we need to do is rotate this 90 degree in the z axis 
வேணா வீட்டுக்கு பார்ப்போம் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் ஏ ஸ்மால் ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி த ஓவர் லேப்பிங் ஆஃப் த ஃபுட் ப்ரிண்ட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் லிக் வெரி பேட் ஸோ என்னோட டு ஃபிக்ஸ் திஸ் வி கேன் கோ டு தி டீக்கல் மெட்டீரியல் ஸோ ரிமெம்பர் வி ஹாவ் இம்போர்ட்டட் இன் தி பேஸ் கலர் ஃப்ரம் தி சஸ்டன்ஸ் டிசைனர் so bring that into the decal like that then we will use this for the opacity so this will make only the center portion of this texture visible so if we click apply and save and start playing now the overlap looks much better so if you just want the footprint to appear in a certain type of material you can just go to the blueprint then select the out hit and here you can get the physical material so every material can be assigned a physical material and when we line trace we can know whether we are hitting a dirt snow or water or anything like that and you can use that to only spawn the decal on certain surfaces so i think that takes for this tutorial and thanks for watching it and if you want to support me on patreon check that out and you can get the novel map and the entire project file for free and thanks for watching